everyone welcome back to crafts with claire part two if you haven't watched the first episode my name is claire and i'm an inclusive recreation manager here at urec since we're not together during this time as a department we wanted to bring a little bit of recreation to you at home and so we decided to do a four-part craft series where each week we do a new fun and creative craft together the first episode was super fun. If you haven't watched it, I would go watch it. We tie-dyed shirts together. And now for the second episode, we will be painting rocks. Without further ado, let's go. The first thing that I did is come to this rock garden in my backyard and I picked out about seven or eight rocks of different shapes, sizes, and colors. As you can see, a lot of these rocks are going to be pretty small which will make it more difficult. So if you have bigger rocks, the easier that it will be to paint on them. But the fun thing about this craft is you can still use any size rock of any shape or color and it'll turn out just as beautiful. Once I've gotten all of the rocks that I wanna use, I'm gonna bring them over to this little station that I made where I have paints and the brushes that I'm gonna use to decorate them. The first rock that I'm gonna paint is this one and I think I'm gonna try to paint a watermelon on it. I started this one by painting the bottom strip with the dark green. Then I did this cute little light green strip. Now that I've done the pink layer, I'm gonna take a tiny brush and do black seeds throughout that pink layer. All right, everyone, here's the finished result of the watermelon rock. For this one, I'm gonna paint a strawberry. For the strawberry, I painted it with the same exact pink that I used for the watermelon. Um, but as you can see, I found a rock that also looks like a strawberry, so I will be making two of these. Now that I've finished the leaves for both of them, all I have left to do is add the black seeds. All right, everyone, here's the finished result for the strawberries. The last fruit rock that I'm gonna do is this one. I've painted it orange, and I'm going to make it look like half of an orange. Now that I have outlined it in white, I'm gonna draw a semicircle at the top of it with lines coming down so it looks like half of an orange. All right, everyone, this is the finished product for the orange. Since we've done three fruits, I decided to switch it up and I'm gonna make this one into a donut. To start the donut, I drew pink icing on it and I made sure not to make it circular because I'm gonna outline it with black and it's gonna look more like icing. All right, now I've drawn a black line to highlight the icing and I drew the circle in the middle. So all I have left to do is add the sprinkles. I have added the sprinkles and here are the final results for my donut. The last type of rocks that I'm gonna do are these four and I'm gonna paint a different flower on each. The first flower that I'm painting is going to have a purple center with yellow flowers coming out of it. All right, this is my finished result for flower one. Here is my finished result for flower two. While I was painting this one, it kind of fell on my leg um, and it's smeared, but I'm gonna keep painting it and I hope it still turns out well. I'm glad I kept painting my third flower because even though it's smeared a little bit, I still think it turned out really cute. All right, everyone, I am officially done and here are the nine rocks that I've painted. Last but not least, I placed the rocks alongside this bank on our driveway so that when people walk by, they can see them. Thank you all so much for joining me today and doing a fun and creative craft with me. 
We hope to see you next week for our third episode. Remember to stay healthy, stay home, and go Dukes!